Something rather unique is happening in the role-playing game community right now. There's a slight odds that, you know, you watching this uh, might have been slightly Pavlovian conditioned by uh, events and, you know, media statements from the last half decade or so. Various events in the real world. Certain tactics, uh, turns of phrase, accusations have been used to chase people out of, you know, their positions and livelihoods uh, for quite some time. Sometimes legitimately, sometimes illegitimately. Increasingly illegitimately. And uh, the RPG community, which has always been rather liberal and accepting, going all the way back to its early days, because, uh, you know, nerds are happy to find other people willing to play these damn games, you know, and so aren't, you know, only, only really hardcore, you know, people with, like, you know, bigoted belief structures, you know, are going to turn someone away just on the basis of whatever. Uh, you need players, so if they're, if they're willing to play, you're going to let them play. It's always basically been the rule of things, unless you have serious interpersonal conflicts. But uh, as, you know, has been uh, increasingly bubbling through the community is uh, the stuff that Wizards has been kind of throwing out there in their public statements, uh, wanting to remind everybody that this whole mess with the OGL is really about, you know, putting an end to hateful content and, uh, you know, making sure that everything's inclusive, even though it already was. And they're raising prices on things, which is inherently less inclusive, but that's all besides the point. Uh, something I'm starting to notice uh, in other D&D channels, people who are maybe a bit more mainstream than I am uh, in terms of their tastes and, you know, things they think and all that kind of stuff. Um... They're being a little confused by uh, by some of these things that are being thrown out there by wizards. They uh, they hear hateful content. They look around and they don't see any. They're they're told that uh, things need to be more inclusive, and they've been like trying really hard for years, most of their lives, to be inclusive people. So, uh, what's going on? Misinformation. Now we're starting to hear about how D&D YouTubers have been spreading misinformation. <gasps> well, we've heard of misinformation. That's been a buzzword for at least six years now. Not misinformation. No. What if someone got on YouTube and said something that was slightly wrong, or they misphrased it? Or maybe they just didn't know and were only offering opinion. And I took it as literal truth. Ah. Uh, and people are kind of like, okay, where's the misinformation? Or like, okay, here's the guy accused of misinformation. D&D uh, &D shorts. He's, he's a new villain. Let's, let's check him out and, and crucify him. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, it's, I guess that's not that bad. Um, the thing is, is that they are saying these things about you, about us. Uh, they're, they're, they're not, you know, aiming this at specific targets. They, they've already eliminated, quote-unquote, most of their targets, you know, from at least, you know, the internet end of the conversation and all that. Uh, so, you know, uh, what is this hateful content they're talking about? Who's been making this hateful content? You look at Drive-Thru RPG, the only uh, section of that website where all the books have these big, long disclaimers about how everything was so hateful and racist back then, and all the people writing these games were racist with their racist ideas and biological essentialism. Uh, well, that's all Wizards of the Coast stuff now, isn't it? Uh, the, the most uh, prominent, notorious incidents of... Uh, you know, things having to be censored out of out of uh, mainstream publications have been Wizards of the Coast's own books, a la Volo's Guide to Monsters, and uh, more recently, the Spelljammer campaign set for 5th edition. Uh, weird. Could they possibly just be meaning you, innocent you? They're, they're saying that, you know, you are a purveyor of hateful conduct, hateful content, misinformation, even? Uh... That's probably a little confusing. Uh, you, you, you haven't yet had this d blanketed, directed at so many people that you've been caught up in being one of these terrible obstacles that are in Watsi's way to achieving greatness and full monetization. Uh, 
And I don't know if this is going to be a wake-up call. There, there just seems to be like this kind of like sense of if everyone was cartoon characters, there's a little bit of like they're scurrying about. They, they you know, uh, they they heard the dinner bell and they're like, "What? Where's the hateful content? Where? Who's doing it? Get them!" Not realizing that the light's being pointed at them. And uh, we'll just see how that evolves. Uh, this could all end up turning into a massive red pilling event. Or not, uh, but you know this is certainly uh, the closest thing the role-playing game community has experienced to its own version of the Last Jedi, shall we say? So we'll see. Anyway, uh, we're a few weeks in to this new world order that we find ourselves in, on the marching on the path towards one D and D, uh, and the tone's changing. That first few weeks of solidarity, I think, is starting to break apart. Despite news, people are hearing about Orc and all these thousands of people who are working on Orc. That's not a good thing. That's not a good thing at all. Uh, D&D putting out all the free stuff that they couldn't copyright into into the uh, Creative Commons. Uh, Wow, thanks for giving us something we already had a right to. Like... You, you couldn't, all the stuff you're putting out there is stuff you, you don't really own anyway. You just want to still have it somewhere online that you have your fucking name attached to it for some damn reason. So, uh, you know, whatever. Anyway, uh, check out Stewards and Obstacles on Drive Through RPG. Uh, it's just six bucks. It's a nice little adventure module. Making fun of all this, possibly the most savage roast of Wizards of the Coast that you can get your hands on right now. It's a good laugh. You can easily adapt it to other game systems or use it with my own. Uh, I mean, if you're an RPG pundit fan, you should get it just for the fact that the final boss of the Virtual Torture Tomb is the final boss of Internet Shitlords. You know, you want to see what his cameo in the book is that I made. So, uh, and on that note, check out links. Uh, go check out Total Party Skills on Drive Through at Party Skills on Twitter. Hit like and subscribe here, ring that bell, and stay waspinated.